Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video talking about how you can customize the delivery of the updates on your computer. And we're going to take a look at some of the very interesting aspects of this delivery of updates because with the April 2018 update it's never been as customizable as that. You can even manage your updates in another way limit big updates from actually downloading. For example, April 2018 update is a big package. If you have a data cap, you might want to change these options as to not get bad surprises. So in the advanced options, there's all sorts of little sliders that can help you to control the flow of Windows updates coming to your PC. So simply add on to settings, then simply go to update and security and here you will go to advanced options now you have these three sliders if you look at my videos we talked about those but go into delivery optimization and go into advanced options now I understand that this is really far in these little menus because I mean this could be visible from the first Windows update screen Unfortunately, Microsoft sometimes has this way of making things simple, a little more complex. Here are the settings that you have available for you in these advanced options. First of all, limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background. That is simply a way of saying, while you're doing other things on the internet, what percentage of your internet bandwidth do you want to allocate to downloading updates. So you can actually put a little check mark here and move the slider to, I don't know, if you do a lot of things on the internet and you don't want to have a slowdown, you can say, I only want to have, you know, 15% of my internet used or my bandwidth used for an update. So you can move this slider around and change um, how fast, it, you know, it will impact how fast your download is actually arriving, of course but it will also change the impact it has on your internet connectivity, especially if you, you know, you're Skyping or you're doing some live videos or downloading a big package of software, maybe or playing games. Maybe you don't want to have too much of the bandwidth used by a Windows update if it suddenly starts downloading. Then limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the, in the foreground. So the difference in the background is while you're doing other things. So for example, if you're playing a game, the updates will go and will happen in the background. If you're looking at Windows Update and it's doing an update, then you'll have it in that's what's called in the foreground while you're actually watching a download or doing something. It's usually higher because if you're in Windows Update, you probably want to have these updates. So this is of course another slider where you can change the speed at which these updates arrive. What is very interesting for people with data cap is the settings for the limit that you can set. So basically one thing you can do is of course there's a slider here that says limit how much bandwidth is used for uploading updates to other PCs on the internet. Now by default there's a slider that you can actually turn off and say no no I don't want to you know uh, if we go back here uh, it says, in my case, PCs on my local network. So because I don't have PCs on local network and internet, that information of the internet uh, use is, um, you know, something that sh should not appear, honestly. But it, you, for some reason, they still put it there. So if you put just PCs on my local network, or if you actually have the slider allow downloads from other PCs at on, this is something that is impacting also that slider here. Now, by default, I don't want to give updates to other PCs on the internet. The reason Microsoft does that is because they want to try to alleviate the amount of data that they have to actually deliver any re-update, and your computer becomes kind of a peer-to-peer -peer machine for Windows updates. But, you know, I don't want to have that, and most of you probably don't want to have that either. So start by, you know, changing, either putting the slider off. If you have only one PC, by the way, on your network, turn this slider off, and that's it. And you're you're taking care of that already. If you have more than one Windows PCs in your home, 
I consider that it's important to put it on and just put the little dot to PCs in my local network. That means if you get a Windows update and you have other Windows 10 machines in your home on your local network, well, instead of downloading the update, you know, six times for six PCs, you might download it maybe only one time for one PC and the rest will be shared within your Windows update machines, which means you'll technically download less data. But the uh, most important slider that you have in the advanced options here is this one, monthly upload limit. So here you can change how much data that you actually set um, as a maximum limit for the data that is being sent for Windows updates. So you can change that. You can say, hey, I only want to have five gigabytes and that's it. You can change all the optimization of the delivery here. Now it's upload, so meaning that the um, upload limit is something that is when you share it with other computers on the internet. So if you do have that slider on PCs, my local network, and PCs on the internet, um, you can change this slider and say, no, I don't want to have more than this amount of gigabytes, you know, taken for doing that. So that's pretty much all the settings that you've got here that you can control to some point um, the data that is taken in the delivery of updates and, and how they're shared within your network uh, for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.